Hey folks, Stephen Barb Lewis here. Welcome to Outlook for a Brighter Day. It's good to be back, isn't it, Mrs. Lewis? Hi everybody, yes. Yes. We got a great show for you guys today. Stay tuned, folks. It's gonna be awesome. We're excited about this one. Okay, folks, once again, thanks for tuning in. It's great to see you all again, isn't it, Mrs. Lewis? Oh, gosh, we love being here with you guys. It's awesome. And thank you for joining us. Yes, thanks for tuning in. Yes. It's really encouraging. We hope you really get something out of this. Yes, we do. Yes. Okay, we're going to jump right in. We've got a great show for you today. And uh, Barb's got some good stuff to read for you. Okay. So we're going to be reading out of Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all just small stuff. just the small stuff. It's all small. Great book, folks. Book was written years and years ago, but it still pertains to things for today, which is pretty amazing. What you got, Mrs. Lewis? Well, we're going to talk about remember that you become what you practice most. Mm. Oh, that's good. Repeated practice is one of the most basic principles of the most spiritual and meditative paths. In other words, whatever you practice most is what you will become. Mm. If you are in the habit of being uptight whenever life isn't quite right, repeatedly reacting to criticism by defending yourself, insisting on always being right, allowing your thinking to smo- snowball in a response of adversity, or acting like life is always an emergency, mm. then unfortunately, your life will be a reflection of this type of practice. Mm -hmm. You will be frustrated because in a sense, you have practiced being frustrated. Wow. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Yes. Likewise, however, you can choose to bring forth in yourself qualities of compassion, patience, kindness, humility, peace. And again, through what you practice, you become. Mm. I guess it's safe to say that practice makes perfect. We've heard that for years and years from our parents, from yes, our school have. teachers. Practice, makes, practice perfect. makes perfect. And I think everyone listening to my voice can actually say, yep, there's mm-hmm. some truth to that. Oh, yeah. Practice makes perfect. It makes sense then to be careful what you practice, mm. right? So instead of po- uh, practicing being uptight and being negative, Practice being calm and positive, and that's what you're going to become. Mm. This isn't to suggest that you make your entire life into a great big project where the goal is constantly to improve yourself, only that it's immensely helpful to become conscious of your own habits. So good habits, Mm -hmm. both internal and external. Where is your attention? How do you spend your time? Are you cultivating habits that are helpful to your stated goals? Is what you say you want your life to stand for consistent with what your life really stands for? Mm -hmm. What you want your life to stand for, are you doing it? Are you practicing it? Simply asking yourself these and other important questions and answering them honestly, honestly with an honest heart helps to determine which strategies will be the most useful to you. Have you always said to yourself, I'd like to spend more time by myself? Or, I've always wanted to learn to meditate, yet somehow you've never found the time. Sadly, many people spend far more time washing their car (laughs) or watching reruns on television shows that they don't even enjoy. (laughs) This does not feed their heart. Today would be like YouTube, not so much like old reruns like what we used to watch, like Three's Company and Happy Days. (laughs) If you remember that what you practice, you will become you may begin to choose different types of practice. Wow. So practice being positive, Mm. practice being happy, because what you practice inside shines outside. Mm. 
And positivity begots positivity. If you're happy and peaceful inside, then you're going to be happy and peaceful outside. Yes. Be happy. Be how does he Don't sing that Don't worry. Song? Oh yeah. Be, be happy. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. And then there was the other one there with Pharrell. Because I'm happy, come along if you feel like I'm wounded. Yeah, those I are good songs. I don't know songs. the words, but it's a wonderful song. So yes, because I'm happy. The whole goal is, seriously, be happy. Yeah. Yeah, be happy. Focus on happy the po- thoughts. The positivity. Positive, that's right. And remember. Mm. Hang around people that are positive. Hang around yes. people that are happy. Hang around people that feed into you. Yes. That feed into your your soul, your creativity, Mm. your goals, your (laughs) dreams. That's true. Hang around those people. Yeah. They're going to feed you. They're going to feed into your soul. They're going to feed you good nourishment and help you grow. Yeah. It's like a magnet. I know. You know, positive magnetism. It's wonderful. Yeah. You know, you all know what it's like. I mean, it's amazing. Listening to Barb talking about this topic right now, and I've got a couple of Bible verses to share. But you think about everything that's going on now in the world, and you think, and I know you're thinking this right now, you watching this right now. It's like, oh my gosh, there's so much negative stuff going on. I know. You have to be careful what you turn on and listen to, what you watch on social media, what you watch on the news. You pretty much have to turn it all off. Sometimes it's a Debbie Downer. And when you feel yourself yes. feeling like that, Debbie Downer is like, away. okay, enough. Yeah. Put on the brakes. Find someone positive. Find a positive friend. And we've talked about this before. And uh, I, I just g- did a podcast show, too, talking yeah. about clearing your mind. But we've got to get our minds cleared. And it's the same thing as focusing on this one as well, that we have to do that. Absolutely. Steve is my positive person. You you just can't be negative around this guy. <laughs> oh, I got to do yes. my little heart. It's the happy place. Be happy. Yes, don't worry, be happy. So I've got some Bible verses to share. Oh, good. And, Let's uh, listen to it. It's, what it's, you got for it's us? It's really important because Barb actually touched on, when she was reading this for the first time to me, it reminded me of some passages of Scripture in yes. Galatians. Ah. Paul wrote to the church in Galatia, and in it he talks about the Holy Spirit yes. and what it produces when right. you have the Holy Spirit within you. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know Jesus Christ, folks, make sure you ask us, send us a message, and we'll tell you about him. But in Galatians 5, okay. I better put my glasses on here. And Galatians this, 5, 22. This yes. is the first time that he shares this with me, too, because all of the stuff that comes out of him, I never know that he's even doing it until he reads it. So, mm. And it's helpful to me, too, so I get something out of this as I'm talking through it. And me as well, definitely. Because when she was reading it, I, I thought about the gifts of the Spirit. But Galatians yeah. 5, verses 22 through 23 says, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Mm-hmm. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, yes. and self-control. Yes. And then it goes on saying there is no law against these things, which basically means you can do these all you want. You can love on people. You can bring joy. You can bring yes. peace. Have faithfulness, gentleness with one another, self-control, and all these things in your mind. If you practice these things yes, and you share these things, yes, it's going to come back to you. I talk about the boomerang effect. If you throw out love and joy and peace, people are going to gravitate. Boomerang back. That's right. To you, people are going to gravitate towards a positive person. You all know it. Someone will gravitate more to a positive person than they will a negative person. That's true. Especially if you know it's like those people that you know. It's like, oh my gosh, they Mm -hmm. just mentally drain me. Yep. And then those other ones, you're, they're like, hey, you guys, and they're talking and they're chatting with you and they're building you up. You love being around those people. Those are the people that you need really to gravitate to. Yes. And try to be one of those people. Yes. You know, think about that. Yeah. You know, try to be that positive person. Yes. 
try to bring joy in someone's life when you're just about to post something and we've all been there you're just about to post that comment or yes. response to someone else's comment and you're like ah and you start typing it and then you're like what are mm. you doing delete go about your business stay focused stay happy because yeah yes. it'll drag you in we right. all know it if you go you can go on the news feed right now on facebook for example and guaranteed someone will bring something out negative someone will bring out something hurtful from the past whatever it may be and it really will cause you to start living in the past and getting dragged down keep and that's scrolling. why you have to be keep scrolling positive and like keep Barb scrolling said. when that happens keep scrolling because we're here today mm. whoever's listening to our voice yes we are here for you today to give you options to make your day mm -hmm. a brighter day. Yeah, that's, that's why we're here. It's we're Bright. here for you. And when your day's brighter, I can guarantee you're making somebody else's day brighter. Yep. You step out and you're happy. Nobody can compete with that. You know, they'll try. They'll try to tear you down, but just stay focused. No, yes. not today. Not today. So, Proverbs 4:23 Okay. Okay. Proverbs 4.23 out of the New Living Translation says, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Yay. Ooh, that's a good one right there, too. If you've got an ugly heart, if you've got anger and hatred in your heart, that's the way you're going to live your life, full of hate. And you're going to be nipping and, and gnawing at everybody. But if you've got a joyful heart, a peaceful heart, a heart full of love, then you'll just spill that out over to others. So that's powerful. Yeah. Isn't that good, Mrs. That's Lewis? That's lovely. Yeah, that, that's, that's my spill. Okay. Barb, you've got some shout outs coming out. Barb's I got shout outs. shout outs. You know, pretty basic message, folks, but really, it, it definitely keep it to heart. So who we got, Mrs. Lewis? Well, uh, we have Shelly and Lou. And, Shelly and Lou. Yes. yes. And they're from Caribou, Maine. Um, Shelly is a lovely lady that Wonderful. I work with. Um, she works in the office. She keeps us all in line. Yes. She keeps us organized mm -hmm. with, with our lives, our schedule, our phone calls, who's needing to talk to us when, and I don't know what we would do without her. She is a gem. Yes, and her man, Lou. Yes, Lou. Lou from Lou's Garage. Lou. No Lou for oh my gosh, over twenty some oh years. My word. Back when he used to work at Midas 19... and now he owns the business. Ninety one. Yeah, it's been a long time. And now he's calling he it's called Lou's and uh great guy. Great. What a wonderful great. man. Hard working. You need your car worked on. Hey, go take it to Lou's caribou. They're a real. great, wonderful couple. Yes. Steven, Steven and, and Kristen, Kristen Young. Young. Shout out to you guys. Yay. Yes, we love you guys and little Abby and Sydney as well. Yes. Wonderful family. Wonderful. Can't say enough about them, but they're wonderful people, very close friends, always keeping God first and yes. uh, keep them in your prayers. They're working on selling their home. Shout out to them selling their home. Uh, be praying for them. Yes. Love and, you guys. Um, Melissa and your pizza. Henderson. Melissa. Yay. Yes. Melissa Henderson, author of Licky the Lizard. And she also does inspirational writing. Melissa, thank you so much for tuning into our show. Yes, thank you, thank Melissa. Thank you for your comments and everything. We love and appreciate you. Keep up the awesome stuff. And our old school friend from yes. many years ago, Kendra. We called her Candy. Yes, Candy. We love you. How do we pronounce <laughs> her last name, Steve? I would say Suzes. Suzes. Okay, Kendra. Yes, Kendra. You'll have to correct us on that. AKA Candy. We've known her since 1991. 91. Yes. When we were all in the military. Oh my <laughs> word. Hey, Kendra. We love you. Appreciate you, girl. You. Uh, be strong out there. Kendra we hope you get up there and see us. Kendra served our country for over 20 years. Yes, thank, thank you, you for Kendra. your service. Thank you for your dedication and service to make this country as great it is, as it is. Yes. And you made your family proud for that many soldiers that you have stood beside. That's right. We love you, girl. We love all of you. Yes. You guys, thank you for joining in. Yes. Um, please remember to comment. Mm -hmm. We love to hear your comments. Give us feedback. Tell us who all you are. Tell us where you're from. Tell yes. us 
um, if this podcast is helping you. Tell us things if that you would like to hear us speak on. Yeah, give us can. a heart. Give us a like. Give us a share. Mm-hmm. Um, we want to hear it all. That's right. So, and, and, and thank you for joining into yes. us because we're here because of you. That's thank right. Thank you. And we love you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this opportunity to share this message today because we know there's someone out there that needs to hear it for sure. We need to focus on practicing the right thing, practicing love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, all that good stuff. We need to practice those things in our lives so we can be a blessing to others, so we can be a light wherever we go. Heavenly Father, bless all those who are listening and watching our show today. We do not take it for granted because we love doing it and reaching them. Bless them, protect them, and keep them safe. And we thank you for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, what you got for us for a weekly challenge, Mrs. Lewis? Okay, this week's weekly challenge Mm. is just just to um, remember to clear your mind and remember that what you practice is what you're going to become. So practice being happy, practice being kind, yes. practice loving yourself, practice loving liking them. yourself yes. all week long. Yeah, that's good. Lift yourself up. Mm. In the midst of the storm, lift yourself up because if nobody else is going to, you've always got yourself that you that's can count right. on. Stay focused. Awesome. Hey. Stay happy, guys. That sounds good. Hey, we listen. We love you all. Love you all. Hey, listen, don't forget, like Barb said, subscribe. Hit the button down below. If you're hit looking on YouTube, subscribe. Go ahead and hit the bell as well so you can get notified of our next podcast yes. show episode. And we look forward to hearing from you yes. folks. We love you. Don't love we you. love them? We love yes, you all. Yes, we love That's you why guys. We're here. This is why we're do we do what we do. That's right. So hey, listen, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. We love you. You. Peace. Wow.